NASA and humanity is praising the success of Artemis 1. Yes, you share my enthusiasm. The space <laughs> agency's Orion capsule returned to Earth after 25 days in space, returned just over the weekend. It's an unmanned capsule. It splashed down on Sunday off the coast of California. And NASA says that Orion's safe return puts the agency on track to send a crewed mission around the moon and back within the next two years. For more on all of it, we're going to bring in Matt Kaplan. Uh, he is host uh, on Planetary Radio of a talk show focusing on space and exploration. Uh, it's produced by the Planetary Society. Matt, welcome. Uh, I'm very excited about Orion. I've been reading the... Um, the Lockheed Martin website, Lockheed Martin being the prime contractor uh, building yeah. the Orion. They say they got an exercise machine on board. It's necessary. Uh, they say that, that this spacecraft goes 24 times the speed of a speeding bullet. That's how that's the velocity. Uh, and it's actually quite roomy inside. So when people do <laughs> climb on board, apparently they got a private toilet and a lot of space. So with all that as prelude, talk to me about how significant the feat is uh, of this test launch and how soon we might be able to see uh, human beings on board. This is huge. It really is. Uh, it's hard to understate how or overstate how important this is for NASA. With all of Congress looking at this, a program that has been delayed by many, many years, to see this kind of almost complete success is, um, is a big boost for NASA across the board. Uh, and uh, it looks like if um, if things went as well as they appear to have, and the biggest thing that was tested here was in those last few minutes, that heat shield on the bottom of the Orion capsule that they couldn't fully test on the ground. Looks like that worked perfectly. Now, as you said, we are, NASA says, about two years away from four astronauts making pretty much mm. the same trip going around the moon. And then maybe another year, if we're lucky, actually seeing the next four human beings step foot on the moon, as NASA likes to say, the first woman and the first uh, person of color. It's amazing. And Lilia, I don't want to step on your question. You got the next one. But uh, <laughs> since Matt mentioned the heat shield, I'll just say that according to Lockheed Martin, uh, the temperatures are up to 5,000 degrees on that heat shield, but the remarkable. temperature inside the capsule still in the 70s. Oh, well, that's, that amazing? Yep. that's balmy. That's amazing. I mean, I, I am curious <laughs> about what comes next. That one mannequin is going to be replaced by four actual humans I mean, it seems like enough testing was done to be optimistic uh, about sending a crew, but what specifically needs to happen uh, before that? I think, there's, proceeds? I think there's good reason for optimism. Now, they didn't test everything that would have supported real human beings on board this capsule, and that's one reason why it's going to be another couple of years before we send people out to duplicate this mission. The life support system obviously, is pretty critical. Yeah. And uh, the mannequins on there, um, they're going to be analyzing the sensors that were built into them. For the first time, we had a mannequin, actually two, that simulate uh, a woman uh, on a trip way beyond uh, low Earth orbit. Uh, that's never happened before, of course, and so scientists are eager to get their hands on those. And really, the engineers want to examine the entire capsule for anything that maybe wasn't obvious as they saw it floating in the ocean. Yeah, you got to test, you know, the, all the other functions, the daily, you know, things that humans use that mannequins have no access to. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, all I'm thinking about is how wondrous this all is. So, Matt, let's let's uh, let's dial back, pull back, and think about the big picture here. Um, uh, are, are the Orion is the only spacecraft out there rated for so-called deep space. So, talk to me about the big picture. What it might mean for the future of Beyond our exploration. Onward we go here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the moon, NASA always says, is just a stepping stone to Mars, although it does have great value in itself. And yes, uh, this is the first human-rated spacecraft to go outside Earth orbit since the Apollo 17, 50 years ago, almost exactly. In fact, it was uh, that we were astronauts on the moon 50 years ago as we speak. Yeah. Um, there will be another major development that will be needed to get humans down to the surface of the moon, and that will be from Elon Musk, his SpaceX Starship it has been contracted by NASA. The Orion capsule will carry the astronauts to what will be known as the Gateway, basically a space station not far from the moon. There they will transfer to the SpaceX Starship. That's what will take them down to the surface, many times larger than the old Apollo lunar module, and lift them safely off the surface back to the Gateway 
climb in the Orion and make that trip back to Earth. Wow. Well, you got to wonder what kind of messaging uh, Elon Musk is going to take to the moon. He he must want to make some statement as, you know, as I'm, his technology I'm, makes its way. I'm hoping to... that as his intellect is needed uh, in the work of SpaceX, it is it is present because he sometimes seems distracted these days. <laughs> but we're not going to get into that here. Matt Kaplan, uh, thank you very much for your insight. We really appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure.